Hi everyone, welcome to the video where we'll be talking about why Montreal is better than Toronto for Punjabis and Gujaratis. Both cities are amazing in their own ways. But Montreal has a lot to offer specifically to these communities. Montreal has a strong and diverse economy with a thriving tech sector and a growing number of opportunities in finance, manufacturing, healthcare, everything. In fact, according to Statistics Canada, Montreal added 37,000 jobs in the first quarter of 2023, while Toronto lost 19,000 jobs during the same period. The unemployment rate in Montreal was also lower than Toronto at 6.4% compared to 8.2%. Montreal is also known for its affordable cost of living with lower housing prices and rental rates compared to Toronto. This means that Punjabis and Gujarati families can enjoy a higher standard of living in Montreal with their hard-earned money. The crime rate in Montreal is definitely lower than in Toronto. According to Statistics Canada, Crime Severity Index, Montreal Index was 45.6 while Toronto was 62.2. The Crime Severity Index takes into account the number of incidents as well as the seriousness of the crimes. So based on this data, Montreal appears to be a safer place to live than Toronto. While the average cost of house in Montreal is around $420,000, in Toronto it is significantly higher with an average of $920,000. Cost of owning a car in Montreal is also generally lower than in Toronto with lower insurance rate and gas prices. Well, I can tell you, that the prices of groceries in Montreal are so damn cheap that it's almost criminal. Toronto and Brampton, on the other hand, are a different story. The cost of groceries there can be significantly higher than Montreal. It's not uncommon to see the same item priced several dollars more in Toronto or Brampton compared to Montreal. So if you're looking to save some cash on groceries, Montreal is definitely the place to be. Well, I can tell you that obtaining a license in Montreal is a breeze compared to Toronto and Brampton. You can easily pass the written and road tests with minimal effort. Toronto and Brampton have more difficult tests and a higher failure rate. Montreal has a high percentage of immigrants than Toronto, 27% of population being immigrants compared to Toronto's 46.1%. However, the top five countries of the birth for immigrants in Montreal are Haiti, France, Algeria, Morocco, and China, while in Toronto, the top five are India, China, Philippines, Pakistan, and Italy. Coming to the PR opportunities available, according to Quebec Skill Worker Program, individuals with experience in occupations such as software engineering, computer programming, and web development are in demand in the province. Montreal also has a strong job market in fields such as aerospace, video game development, and life sciences. In addition to job opportunities, Montreal has a strong support for immigrants looking to start a new life in the city. Government of Quebec provides free French language classes to new immigrants and there are also a variety of settlement services available to help newcomers adjust to their new homes. According to Canadian Bureau for International Education, Montreal is also a top destination for international students with over 33,000 studying in the city in 2019 and in 2023, we can see a lot more than that. This creates a diverse and vibrant community that welcomes newcomers and provides opportunity for cultural exchange. In terms of numbers, Montreal has seen a steady increase in immigrants over the past decade, with over 49,000 immigrants arriving in the city in 2023 alone. Furthermore, the Quebec government has set a target to increase the number of immigrants setting in the province to 52,000 per year by 2025. In terms of gender ratios, Montreal has a slightly higher percentage of females than males, with approximately 51.2% females and 48.8% males. Toronto, on the other hand, has a balanced rate, with approximately 49.2% females and 50.8% males. When it comes to nightlife, Montreal has a more vibrant scene than Toronto. According to a report by Yelp, Montreal has 32 bars and clubs per 100,000 residents, which is highest in Canada. In contrast, Toronto has only 16 bars and clubs per 100,000 residents. Montreal has around 17 strip clubs, while Toronto has approximately 11. Additionally, Montreal is also known for its festivals, including the Montreal International Jazz Festival and the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival, which attracts large crowds and contribute to the city's vibrant nightlife. Now, I leave up to you to make your mind Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Also, if you are more interested in the daily life of a Montreal international student, do check out my channel for more vlogs and updates.